A lot of people make the claim that the electric revolution, that clean energy, clean air, doesn't make sense. They say that solar panels are inefficient, they don't last very long, and then are barely even worth the energy that goes into manufacturing them. Well, that is categorically false. Here is why. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking, great to see you. My name's Sam Evans, I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all the new subscribers, welcome back everyone else. We have done over a thousand videos over the past 12 months, make sure you check some of those videos out. There's a lot there that'll let you or your friends who are anti-EV or anti Breathing in clean air. There's a lot of people who don't like clean air, surprisingly. It'll help educate them. A recent study showed that solar panels output exceeds energy input by more than 100 times. The green credentials of solar PV technology have been reinforced with Singapore headquarter manufacturer Maxon Solar Technologies releasing details of an independent study that shows the energy output of its Maxon 3 panels is more than 100 times greater than the input required to make the solar panels. So this study basically is a reflection in general of the entire solar PV industry. Now, for example, Maxon, which sell in Australia under the SunPower Maxon brand, said a third-party study to assess the energy payback time for its panels confirmed the energy produced over the technology's lifetime far exceeds the energy required in its production. I mean, it's not even remotely close. Maxon said it had engaged an external consultant to assess its technology EPBT, which is the period required for a renewable energy system to generate the same amount of energy that was used to produce the system itself. The EPBT assessed the cumulative energy demand over all the life cycle stages of Maxon's three panels and considered local grid efficiencies to different global locations, including Australia and the United States. The test found that Maxon three solar panels had an energy payback period ranging from 0.13 to 0.45 years for ground mounted modules and 0.27 to 0.92 years for a residential rooftop system. So on average, it's less than half a year to get payback from all the energy that went into producing the panel. Basically, what this means is after about five months of ownership, right, everything you get after that is free. The energy that went into creating it comes back to you in five months time. And after that, everything off from there on out is actually free energy. Spread over the 40 year performance warranty on the panels, the energy output exceeds the energy demand of manufacturing by more than 100 times over the panel's lifetime, marking a huge milestone for the sustainability of PV technology. The company said, as a solar company, we have a responsibility to fight climate change and must continue to innovate to impact on communities around the world and to continue to generate long-term value for our employees, customers, and stakeholders. One of the things to keep in mind is, if you installed solar panels on your house back in 1995, sorry, but technology has changed since then. There's a lot of people who they think, I did something 30 years ago, therefore X. That's not the way things work. For example, solar panels today do function when there is no sun. In fact, they function pretty well when there's no sun. Nowhere near as well as when there is sun, but many houses can still run 100% on solar energy even when it's a cloudy day. That's one of the big changes that we've seen in solar panel technology over the last 20 years. Another big change we've seen is less electricity needed to produce a solar panel. But more important than those, both of those features in my view, is a change to how long solar panels are lasting. They're now lasting a lot longer than they used to. Now the results of this study are included in Maxon's latest sustainability report, which also provides a detailed overview of the company's environmental, social, and governance achievements, initiatives, and future plans. The 96-page report outlines the company's 2025 and 2030 long-term targets. I'll put a link in the description below, and if you want to, you can check that report out. Now, that report is fairly indicative of the solar industry as a whole, but the thing to keep in mind is more and more of these solar plants that build these solar panels are being powered by renewable energy. Not all of them, of course, but more and more of them. Grids worldwide are becoming cleaner and cleaner. And eventually, all the power we use to create solar panels will have come from wind, the sun, or from geothermal or other sources of renewable energy. And the other thing that's happening here, right, 
is that since Maxon and other companies have introduced 40 year solar panel warranties starting in 2022, more and more companies are coming to the plate. They're saying, you know what? If our competition has a 40 year warranty, well, we better do it as well. The other thing is they're discovering that their panels will last a lot longer than panels used to do. So having a 40 year warranty actually makes sense because the panels will actually last longer than 40 years. Now, do you have to clean them? Yeah, absolutely. If you want full panel performance, cleaning is better. But remember, the investment you put into solar will pay itself back more than 100 times over, over the life of that panel. What does that mean? That means, yes, solar panels are most certainly clean. Yes, they most certainly produce an enormous amount more energy than what we put into actually manufacturing them. In fact, more than 100 times. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.